Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how I condition my leather traveler's notebook. Now you guys all know that I make my own traveler's notebook and I like to take care of them from time to time. I have no specific routine, like I don't sit down with my traveler's notebook every month and condition them. I always go by the feel of it. When the leather starts to feel a bit stiff and hard, that's when I know that I have to condition it. Now I have two methods of conditioning my traveler's notebooks. I love both of them but I do love one over the other. So one of the method that I use to condition my traveler's notebook is this. This is the sweet almond oil. Um, it works really well. As soon as you apply the oil it sinks in immediately and it's 100% natural so it doesn't have any chemicals inside it and I don't think it will harm my leather. I think some of you will probably cringe or say no when it comes to sweet almond oil but I actually do like the finish it leaves on my leather and also it doesn't have any distinctive smell. The other method that I love using and this is something I have discovered um, through leather craft forums, uh, leather experts and when they expressed, when they actually shared their techniques, it made sense to me. Um, so much so that I started using it and I loved it. So this is what it is. You either use beef dripping or beef tallow. Now the difference between beef dripping and beef tallow is the smell. One has more beefy smell than the other. So beef tallow does not have any smell to it whereas beef dripping has the beefy smell. But the good news is, once you use it on your traveler's notebook, the smell goes away after a few minutes. So I'll talk about beef dripping a little bit. Beef dripping is really easy to find in the market. You can find it in your supermarket. I bought mine from my local butchers and it's really inexpensive. Beef tallow is the purest form of cow fat. So you would buy cow fat from the butchers, the raw fat, um, either it's called cow fat or suet. So once you get the fat in the house, then Google render lard because it's literally the same way how you would render uh, beef fat. Both of them will give you the same result. I personally love beef dripping because it's easy to find and all the hard work is done for me. Whereas beef tallow, you have to do a lot of work to get the end product. The choice is yours. Both ways are cheap. I bought my beef dripping from my local butchers, so it's 100% beef dripping with no additives, so I know it's good stuff. It, it looks like this, and it says, you know, pure beef dripping, no added um, preservatives or anything, so it's just pure beef fat. What I do is I take a little bit chunk and I store it in here. This one, I keep it in the fridge, and this one, I keep it in the freezer, and this will last me for ages, even a whole year, if not more. It is a huge tub. If you can't find 100% natural beef dripping, then your choice might be to make beef tallow and you can just buy the beef fat and render it. So I use beef dripping on all my leather traveler's notebook. You guys know I make my own traveler's notebook with veg tan leather, which is my favorite leather. Now, if you guys don't know, veg tan leather is quite stiff. It's stiff, hard and strong. But I love Veg Tan Leather Truffles Notebook because it, it is thick, it holds the structure, it's strong and it just looks nice to me. And a lot of people used to tell me, like, how do you get your leather so squishy and so supple? I use beef dripping. Now I will show you how I use it on my mint travelers notebook. You guys know this for ages, so I'm going to condition this one. Before you start doing anything, I would like to say, make sure you grab an A4 sheet of paper or any scrap paper, because you want to cover up your table or your carpet and protect it. So here's my traveler's notebook. You need your beef dripping or beef tallow, and you need some sort of cloth, a microfiber cloth, to buff the fat into the leather. Before I get started, I do want to share with you that conditioning your leather with beef tallow or the dripping will darken your leather. And that is because the leather soaks up the fat. Now, even if the leather gets darkened, it will go away after a couple of days of use. If you're impatient and you want to get your original colour back, then you can roll your leather. If you guys have painted your traveller's notebook with acrylic paint, then the good news is when you use the fat, it does not affect the colour. Anyway, so I'm going to sh show you how I use this. 
get a smaller chunk but this is a huge chunk so what I will do is just rub it all over my traveler's notebook I know some people like to take off their strings I just can't be asked because I'm lazy so what I'm doing is um, just rubbing the fat all over my leather okay so once I have rubbed the fat all over my leather I start massaging it this is the time when you really massage your leather and if you're someone who likes to roll your leather then this is a good time to roll your leather as well I have heard that it is not a good idea to put any um, conditioner on this part of the skin but I do it anyway I do a very small amount so I'll do this and this and I try to massage it in so really just work the fat into your leather the more you massage it the more it will sink in and it will get more supple okay so once you have lathered the fat onto your traveler's notebook you can leave this for two minutes three minutes five minutes or half an hour think about how dry your leather is and do accordingly so once that's done and you have waited for a few minutes for the fat to sink in this is where you grab your uh, microfiber cloth or any sort of rag and you buff the fat onto your traveler's notebook so this will create friction between your leather and your cloth and it will melt the fat and it will enhance the soaking process of the oils in the fat once you have done this you will notice that it will have a lovely sheen on it and the excess fat is removed from your leather so i'll go ahead and buff my leather Right, as you can see, I buffed all the excess fat off and you can, you can see on the camera what a lovely sheen it has. It looks really nice and supple and it looks healthy. It looks like a healthy bit of skin. I hope you can see it. You can see the textures as well. Okay, so this side of the skin, you can't buff it because it, it's quite a textured part of the leather. So what I like to do is gently rub off the excess fat. That's all I do. So here it goes. I'm not buffing, I'm just gently rubbing the excess fat off. So there you go, I have conditioned the inside bit of my leather. Look how soft and supple this is. This leather is 4mm thick, so this is quite a thick, sturdy leather. When I first had it, it was really stiff. This is exactly what I do to all my traveller's notebook, all of them. I've recently conditioned this one and look at the sheen it has on it. So beautiful. Look how floppy the leather is. Incredible. All right, guys, so before I leave this video, I would like to mention that be careful with your traveler's notebook or your leather product. It is up to you what you want to do. Your traveler's notebook or your leather piece is your property. So at the end of the day, whatever decision you make, it is your own decision. So I can provide you with information and a lot of people provide their information and how they do things but at the end of the day it is up to you what you want to do make up your mind if you like this method and if you think it makes sense then go ahead and do it I will leave some link down below where I got all this information from I've been following some leather craft forums where this method has been highly um, praised and also this method makes sense to me because it is compatible think about it this is a cow leather, came from a cow, so putting cow fat into the leather will make it more supple. And it's all natural, that's the main thing. I don't like to use other leather product that has so many chemicals in it, uh, whereas this cow fat is just all natural, came from the cow, no additives. Okay guys, so I hope you have learned something from my video. If you do decide to do this method, then do let me know um, and let me also know how it uh, reacts with your leather. Did it make it more supple, soft? Did it give a nice sheen on it just like it's doing to mine? If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try my best to answer all the questions, but I do highly recommend you guys check out those links that I'll put down below where I have learned those techniques. Those guys are, you know, they have been working with leathers for 20, 30 years. So I do trust their judgment and I do trust their opinion a lot. If you have enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think this is helpful and it will help other people, then share it with everyone. Please follow me on Instagram. You can find my Instagram name over here. And um, please subscribe as well. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.